So here we have a range of local flavoured teas such as chicken rice tea, nasi lemak, pandan chiffon, ice kacang, and bakwa. There's nothing more Singaporean than the spaces Singaporeans live in. Colloquially, we call them HDBs. And under these HDBs are gems you might not have known existed. This is the story of one of them in the community of Krita Aya. Hi, my name is Victor. I'm the founder of Ed Tea Company. I started the company in 2014, December, making a very local food-inspired tea blends with the likes of nasi lemak, chicken rice, ice kacang, and even orni. Back in 2015, it was SG50. I think a lot of made in Singapore local produce were very prominent. Uh, I saw people making cookies with uh, local flavours, cakes with local flavours, but nobody was doing that with tea, which is why I thought I'm going to be the one doing it. I am very local, I'm very Singaporean, so what I know, I put it into my blends. So food I eat, people that I meet, culture that I experience, I put them all into my blends. I decided to choose uh, to have my first shop in Chinatown because uh, of the many traditional tea houses here. Uh, what I'm doing is uh, contemporary, modern, so I wanted to be the first modern tea company amongst the traditional tea houses of Chinatown. And also it's conveniently located in Chinatown and it's easy to find. Uh, currently we have about 60 tea blends and also about 20 uh, pure teas. For me to create a blend from scratch, it takes between one to three months. At the fastest, it would be one month and because tea blending is a trial and error method, so I need to have different permutations of tastings before I can arrive at the final product. So my nasi lemak and my chicken rice tea are the most talked about because of the name of the teas. So I need to guarantee you that they are 100% vegetarian and we did not grind the nasi lemak or chicken rice into powder and make them into tea. So to make nasi lemak tea, I have two base tea, hoji cha, genmai cha, and the ingredients to blend with would be pandan, osmanthus, coconut, and chili. So let's start. I need one part of hoji cha, one part of genmai cha, one part of pandan, which I may need to cut, half part of osmanthus, half part coconut. Just give it a good shake. Take one chili and put it in. And there you go. That's in the mark tea. In the beginning, it was pretty hard to put local flavours as tea to my customers. They were non-believer in the first place, but after a few tasting and after some experiment with the flavours, they actually got used to it and then they are liking it more and more. So I started the company with a very young clientele, from 18 to 25 years old which is why I made local but yet uh, funky and cool flavours to attract them. But however, seven years down the road, uh, they would also have grown out of their face. So they will be seeking out uh, more uh, serious teas, which is why I'm starting to introduce pure teas uh, into my repertoire of offerings. Most of our customers uh, would have travelled to visit their families and friends overseas. They like to buy a pack of chicken rice tea instead of bringing a packet of literal chicken rice. So first of all, we have uh, loose leaf and uh, tea bags. Our local flavours started off with only loose leaves, but a couple of years ago we, we actually acquired a tea bagging machine. So we actually bagged six of our most uh, popular local tea flavours into tea bags. Which is why you will find our lychee konyaku, pandan chiffon, nasi lemak, pineapple tart, kebaya blue, and uh, ice kacang into tea bags. So the kebaya series was because I used to fly as a uh, flight attendant with Singapore Airlines. So somehow it's like me paying homage to the airline. So we started out doing retail, but more and more we were getting inquiries from restaurants and cafes looking to serve our teas. So at this point of time, we would have about 100 cafes and restaurants in Singapore serving our teas. Uh, besides blending tea, I also teach blending teas. So we have tea workshops uh, about tea blending. Before COVID, the largest group that I've conducted was for a group of 80 teachers. Uh, our tea shop is really small, so we can only have a maximum capacity of 8. So you may not know, um, we also have a category called Movies and Songs. Uh, we would have this tea called The Moon Represent My Heart, which is inspired by Yue Liang Tatai Wo De Xing. Uh, we also have Chris Grey, which is inspired by Fifty Shades of Grey and Peach Perfect. And I'm really looking to have uh, more on this collection. 